What is up TCG Army, C Money TCG here. Welcome back to another video. I have not done that intro in like a solid three weeks or so, man. This beginning of this uh, year, this 2022, it's been a little while and I started off the year taking a little bit of a mental reset break, kind of from everything other than Instagram, which I don't know if I'll ever step back from Instagram. If you want a good place to always keep up with me, Instagram at C Money TCG is the place to go. But uh, we went to Disney World as a family, um, me, Allie, and the rest of our family went to Disney World, had an absolute blast for seven days at Disney, came back, and the day we got back, we uh, got COVID. So uh, that was our first time ever getting COVID, so uh, we were out for another week uh, with that, and here I am finally getting back to work and everything, and uh, getting back to videos. So I've actually had uh, several things kind of added to the collection stuff a little bit. Uh, over the last couple weeks, we've also got a mail day to go over today. And I'm going to open up for you guys. And then, after all that, uh, we're going to start the year off opening up a Vaporeon VMAX box. I freaking love both these Vaporeon promos. So we're going to crack this thing open so I can get a couple, hopefully, copies that I can grade. And it also looks like I'm going to be opening up my first ever Fusion Strike packs. Uh, which should be nice and interesting. Looks like we've got Vivid Voltage, Evolving Skies, and Random Guardians Rise, or sorry, Re Rebel Clash, unfortunately, it looks like. And I think a Chilling Rain, so that'll be a, a fun product to open. Actually, I haven't really watched anyone open those. No clue what the pull rates are like. But uh, real quick, let's go ahead and get into this mail day. First and foremost, this is for my good friend 5050 on Instagram. Make sure you go give him a follow. I'll try to remember to put his account up here on the screen uh, he's a great friend in the dragon ball super community i'll give you all this is a dragon ball super um mail day um, we've got a little bit of dragon ball and pokemon today as far as stuff i'm gonna be showing you guys that's a really cool kind of sticker thing not really sure what that even is we've got the card here here i can even just put his uh Nice. I can even just put his business card up. Looks like he put his business card in here. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Smooth edge, sharp corners, corners chasing nostalgia. This is 5050 um, chasing on Instagram and eBay. Make sure you go check him out. He is an amazing dude to do business with. Seriously, I can't recommend him enough. Awesome, awesome, awesome dude. And the card he sent me, we'll go ahead and put this awesome, perfect fit seed. Is a meteoric energy Kefla. Now, Kefla is one of my absolute favorite characters in all of Dragon Ball. I think she's absolutely incredible. Over here in my grade pile, I actually have a lightning speed Kefla. I actually ordered about four more of these. I'm going to try to throw to Beckett, get a couple tens of that card. Uh, I'm trying to pick up a couple of these cheaper Kefla cards. I said I, just, I love color flowing Kefla. Awesome, awesome character, awesome fusion. Um, so. I picked this one up for real cheap, the Engenement 10, a uh, super card, kind of cool card to kind of tuck away, nice texture and everything, even though it's not that expensive or anything like that. Freaking awesome SPR in DBS. Big thanks to 50 for that. Now, uh, I did have a giant PSA sub come back recently. Didn't show it because it was during my break, so uh, I'll have one highlight. There was a PSA 1 Gold Star Zard that's already gone that uh, I was really excited about. Uh, I picked this up from my good friend Nerdneck, uh, John, in a trade with a couple smaller cards from that. Nothing crazy about this. It's a 9.5 Vivid Voltage Zard. I sold my PSA 10 and this is real cheap. So we did a small, small trade for that. I don't remember if I put this in a video or not. I don't think I did, but this is the Explosive Birth 10th movie Lugia. I don't know. I said this is reason. I don't know if I had it in a video or not. This should have been the Gold Star Lugia. It's by Fakuda around the same time that the Gold Stars were around. They missed a big opportunity with this. What I think is the best other than the Crystal Lugia art. I think this blows Neo and all the others out of the water. So incredible, incredible card. Still relatively cheap. Said so could have been the Gold Star Lugia with it being Fakuda who uh, drew these. Obviously the uh, artist for all of the Gold Star cards. Nice little swirl going on right here. Uh, this is one of the highlights of the PSA sub that I was happy with. Is a Reverse Hollow Mewtwo Delta Species Fire Type Mewtwo. This is one that I graded myself in that last sub that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, awesome Reverse Hollow. Love this art of him like in the gym. Uh, I don't know if I showed this one in a video or not either. Uh, this was fairly recent. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw it up here. This is a Crobat Crystal. Another Crystal card checked off my list. Big swirl right here. 
9.5 on the subgrades for this guy. Um, this is a very underrated crystal, in my opinion. I love this art, love this card a ton. You can see like the sky and mountains and stuff back here kind of washed out behind them. Freaking gorgeous card and another crystal checked off my list, which I'm really, really excited about because I am trying to complete the kind of between 9 and 10 graded crystal set. Um, this one just came in the mail. Mewtwo Level X PSA 9. Uh, very underrated and very, very cheap Mewtwo right now. Uh, cheap and, you know, relative to some of the other bigger Mewtwo's. Uh, this, and a PSA 9's low pop and a 10 very low pop. And this was like 400 bucks. So, uh, I, I would very much recommend picking up some of the bigger Level X cards if you haven't already. If there are any you want to add to your collection, because I think their time is coming soon. And the biggest one I've added to my collection recently is this PSA 10 uh, Rocket Gang Strikes Back Mewtwo. Those of you who know me know this is my favorite Mewtwo art. Fat, fat swirl right there. The hollow on this is absolutely nuts. This thing is a really clean PSA 10. Uh, it is unlimited, which is actually more rare than the first edition. Uh, you got another swirl going on over here too a little bit. So this card is absolutely insane. Uh, I love this thing so, so much. Uh, th big shout out to West Magical Magikarp and uh, Rock Mountain TCG for hooking me up with this. They worked out, out a trade cash deal for me on this guy. And this is one that I am so happy to have in my collection. Uh, I still need the English PSA 10, uh, which I'm definitely after. Another swirl right here. This hollow is nuts, man. But uh, I am very happy to have the unlimited uh, Japanese PSA 10 in this card specifically. So... Those are all kind of the bigger additions. I have one, or actually I have a couple things coming in, but the biggest, biggest addition uh, by far is coming in a few days. And I think that one deserves its own video. Again, shout out to 50 for this Kefla. I think the one coming deserves its own video. So we're gonna give it that it's that big. A uh, couple things for sale I wanted to note. Uh, BGS 10 Goku and Frieza. I pulled this myself, graded it myself. This is for sale for 700 or best offer. If you're interested, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter. Email is calling at cmoneytcg.com. Uh, literally any of those things. And this guy is for sale for, I believe, $550. Uh, there's a Gem Mint 10 20th anniversary Zard. So uh, both of these are for sale. If you are interested, hit me up. These are cards I'm trying to move to fund some other stuff. So. Hit me up on those if you are interested. That is all for uh, kind of the update since I've been gone. Let's. This is a Vaporeon box. I wasn't going to keep this thing sealed because honestly the box itself just looks awesome. But uh, I really want these cards. I know you might say, Colin, why don't you just buy the cards? Probably should. But uh, I want to open this. I'll be honest. I think this is a really cool premium collection product. Retailing for 40 bucks. Now if the pools are absolutely terrible. Hey, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully the promos will be gradable. That's what I'm really hoping for here. Uh, right away I can see it. The Vaporeon looks very well centered. The VMAX, which is the one I'm most concerned with. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get them out nice and safe. We'll take a look at what this kind of product has to offer here. Let's see here if we can get these out nice and safely. All right. Let's take a look at the VMAX. Centering is fantastic. This guy. Oh, there's a little white dot in the top left corner. Ugh. Dots in both corners. That may keep me from the 10. I might still try it. I will still try it. I'll still send it in, but that might hurt me. Uh, I hate how they package these. That is unfortunate. The front looks absolutely perfect. It really does. Beautiful art with the Milotics, but... You might be able to see there's a white dot in that corner. A little white one in that corner. Super unfortunate. But I will still send it in and see if we can't squeak by with the PSA 10. It will not be going to Beckett for that reason. Here. This one right away has some edge wear kind of stuff going on up here. Might be able to see in that camera. I'll still probably send this one in too, but this one probably isn't a 10. This one's got some corner stuff going on. Unfortunate. This one probably isn't a 10 either, but I'll go ahead and send it in. See what happens. Both these cards are beautiful, beautiful promos. Super, super unfortunate that they probably won't be 10s. All right, what packs do we get? Fusion, Evolving Skies, Vivid. And you get six packs in this Fusion, Chilling Rain, and 
gross rebel clash we'll open that first here's a code if anyone is interested in that yeah cool cool vaporeon pin here let me get this out and then your jumbo it's a nice looking jumbo promo for vaporeon uh pretty beat up on the back but uh yeah there's your jumbo looks gorgeous all right here we go then let's go ahead and crack open the packs Unfortunate, my two promos aren't going to score a 10, but we'll uh, I'll send them in when value opens back up. We'll see what we can do. All right, first and foremost, Rebel Flash. I'm just going to fly through this because I don't care. Dragapult. Actually, probably the best VMAX you can get in this set. So uh, I'll actually take that. Okay. I'll take a Dragapult if we're going to get anything up. I will take that. All right. This thing used to be a pretty expensive VMAX back when uh, Chilling Rain and then Vivid. It uh, actually used to be a pretty decently uh, priced VMAX back in the day. It's not as much anymore. I think it was playable a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and do that right there. Good in a code. This is Chilling Rain here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I've pulled one alt art. It was a zap dose, I believe, of the birds. Not today. Not today, but that is just fine. Vivid, still haven't pulled Chonkers. Um, still haven't pulled Rainbow Nessa, so either of those would be super cool. The chances are pretty slim out of one pack, but hey, we'll see what we can do. Can't get something nice out of Vivid Voltage here. I love Chonkers or... Nessa would be absolutely sick, but let's see here. Talonflame. A little $2 ultra rare. Nothing crazy. Throw that in the pile. All right. I have not opened Fusion Strike yet. These are my first two Fusion Strike packs to ever open. I've heard that pull rates for this set. Uh, awesome. I forgot that they have different code cards. I don't remember what's what. Like, is this a green code? Because it's got the green up here. Uh, Maybe. Maybe it's green there, so it's considered a green code. I've heard that pull rates are incredibly tough for this set. But this is my first time opening it myself. So a Mew would be sweet. A Gengar would be sweet. Celebi would be sweet. We get a Tox Jersey. So I guess that was a white code. And it's interesting because if it said redeem before it was a white code, it would say TCGO if it wasn't. So, But we do get a hollow, so I guess that was technically considered a white code. Good to know. Especially a brilliant start. I, just, I haven't opened up any fusion. I've been saving all my money for uh, brilliant stars. Now this is the different one. Uh, is the white border instead of the black? Now does this say? This one says redeem as well. This one had redeem like in capital letters. So I'm not real sure there. Let's see. I'm assuming this may be the green code then. I guess we'll find out here. All right. Let's see. I'm probably the last guy on YouTube that does cards to know that. Ramble. So that would have been, I guess, a white code. Or sorry, a green code. Interesting. All right. Uh, are we at the last pack already? We are. Okay. My favorite set in the last several years, Evolving Skies. Still have not pulled the Umbreon or the Rayquaza. We do have a small chance here. If we pulled the... Right here, I would lose my mind. Come on, give me the Umbreon out of a Evolution box, please. All right, here we go. Here we go. Don't peek, Colin. Just get to the end. Big evolving skies. Let's see here. Probably just going to be a hollow rare. All right. Oh, white code and no oof. White code for a non-hollow. Unfortunate. They're teasing us over here now. Absolutely teasing us. So our pulls for the box were uh, not good. Definitely, in theory, should have kept it sealed because the promos weren't great either. But uh, there you have it. There is the $40 Vaporeon box premium collection. The promos are incredible for all three boxes. However, mine, both of mine had some quality issues. So that is a little bit unfortunate. I'll send, I'll send them off, hold them for when value opens back up. But that's going to be it for me. Again, if you're interested in either of these, please hit me up. Uh, buy at 550 or 700 both are or best offer but i don't want to move too far off so uh there you go and again 
Thank you so much. We'll do a quick recap again. Kefla today. This incredible Mewtwo. Another Mewtwo. Crystal Crobat. Another Mewtwo. Can you tell I'm a Mewtwo guy? So uh, another big, big, big mail day coming. Hopefully at the end of this week. Be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later. Yeah.